Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It's free, it takes less than one second of your time. Just click on the subscribe and also the like button and the notification bell so you receive notification on new videos I post. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up my smart box Wi-Fi and this will allow me to control my amplifier. What I meant by that is to be able to turn on and off my amplifier remotely. Okay here is my Wi-Fi smart box. It has the Wi-Fi antenna on top and I can mount this on the bulkhead. So opening this up I have the cover plate removed that goes right there and I went ahead and labeled them just like that okay I'm gonna power it up using 220 volts AC and in the manual this is I got highlighted and that's what I'll be using that's the wire diagram I'm going to use to wire up my 220 volts AC that powers on and off my amplifier. Here's a prospective view of my shack. You can see how small it is. And coming across the room here on the upper edge near the ceiling, you can see I'm near the ceiling. This is my 220 volts AC wiring. So I've already removed the cover plate and I plan on mounting the Wi-Fi right along here, this wall here. Okay, here's the circuit breaker. We're looking at the 240 bedroom outlet. That's breaker 16 and 18. And it's located right there. 16 and 18. I'm going to shut it off. I have some leftover Romex that I'm going to use and bought some uh, connectors here for the junction boxes. I got two half inches and what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to mount this onto the bulkhead up there. And then per that wire diagram, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, making the connections. One thing you need to be careful about is cutting holes into the walls because of power wires. I got a stud finder. I mentioned earlier that I was going to put it here. However, when I was using the stud finder, It identified that there's electrical wires within behind that wall so to be close to the junction box here I'll have to put it here somewhere okay here's a center right there so what I'll do is I'll mark it off here and let's see if uh, if this thing is going to fit. Here we go. Yeah, it'll fit. I'm going to mark it off and drill a hole and have this um, smart box, the Wi-Fi smart box, uh, installed. I'm going to drill a 1 16th inch hole. This is going to be my pilot hole. I got a game game plan change because that screw up there it's a lot fatter than this hole right here I'm going to remove that screw and then when it's time to mount this on the wall I'm going to mount it at the same time in the meantime I'm going to 
open up this access port here on the left side of the smart box so I could uh, install this cable connector. What I like about this cable connector, there is a grommet, a little black grommet on the inside to prevent chafing. So here's the inside of that half inch connector. I'd open it up. Here's the rubber grommet. Okay, I need to connect the common in. And it's going to go to the power in on this end. Okay, we just connected this one here to this one here. The next jumper cable we're going to connect is going to be connecting to here where I have power in and to COM2 in. This white wires, it came with the kit. Okay, there you go, but we're not done yet. This cable here, this wire, that's coming from the circuit breaker. The green and copper is the ground. This black one that's coming from here, that's the hot. And this one here is like the neutral, the white. So this black and this white is 220 each. Okay, they're uh, coming from the circuit breaker. So let me disconnect these wires, this one, this one and I'm going to connect it to the Wi-Fi box. Looking at the schematics, these two here, L1 and L2, are the actual wires that's coming from my circuit breaker. So it's 240 volts AC. Minus 220, it's going to come out of here. I'll connect the from the breaker to COM2, and the other wire from the breaker is going to go to COM1. Again, here, one wire. I'll just say I'll connect the white one here, and then I'll connect the black one here. This is what we got so far. This white and blue wire, that's the load. That is in this conduit that goes to the outlet for the 220 behind the corner. This yellow cable, power cord, this is going to go into the Wi-Fi switch and the black one is going to the power in and then the white one is going to COM2 in. And the ground is the ground. And I also have on the other end, the ground is connected to this and that's the ground. All we need left is to connect the load with another cable coming out of here and going down to here. Okay, on the Wi-Fi box where the load, this, this is going to be the load that goes to the power cord of the amplifier's outlet. So the black is connected to amp in or to the amplifier. That's the black one. And then the white one is also going to the amplifier. So I got that screwed in there. Now the other end, which is what we have here, the black's going to be connected to the blue wire, and then the white will be connected to the white wire. And it's going to go in that little hole here. It's all done. The wiring is complete. Next thing to do is to turn on the power and uh, sign on to the Wi-Fi. The moment of truth, this is the breaker for the amplifier. The 
Let's take a look. We got blue light special. All right. Let me figure out how to to connect to the Wi-Fi now. Okay, you, you have to download an app from the uh, Android or Apple Store called Eco, and follow the instructions. It's easy. You connect to the Eco Wi-Fi, and then you're going to look for your home network. So once that's established, and then the app, I can turn on and off the amplifier or the yeah I can turn on and off the amplifier here it is okay the red light it means it's on it's a little slow but other than it it works see it says connecting So I'm going to have to figure this out where I can connect it to the Amazon Alexa. So it'll be, uh, hopefully it's much faster. See how long it takes? It still shows trying to connect. But anyhow, that's it. It's uh, working. Let me turn on the amplifier. See right here it says the signal of the wireless network is not stable. Please try again. Click OK. And if I were going to click it again, it turns off. So I think there's a little glitch. I can't turn it on and off right away like some uh, Wi-Fi smart plugs. But so far this will work. See it see how long it takes? It's trying to connect. It takes a lot longer. But at least this Wi-Fi is rated for uh I believe it's like 20 or 30 amps. It's made for like um hot water heaters or um pool pumps and it's made for use outside or indoors. See how long it takes? Okay, so this is non-stop video and then I can turn it back on. And it goes back into trying to connect to the network again. In this portion of the video, we're going to connect the application and pair it with the Amazon Alexa. First, we're going to open up the Echo software. I have it here. The Echo plugs. It's going to connect via Wi Fi. There's my RF 2KS amp power. I labeled that. Click on settings. Right here, you can connect to Amazon Alexa or the Google Assistant. And you have instructions on, on how to do both of those. For, for now, let's go to connect Amazon Alexa. There's my login. Click yes. Once that's finished, the next step is to add the skills. So here's my Amazon Alexa. We need to add the skills. So for the skills, we're going to go to more and then we're going to select skills. Here we're going to do a search for ECO plugs. There it is, ECO plugs. ECO plugs, okay, there's the icon. And we're going to enable to use. We have a sign on to the Amazon Echo to access your account. Please input your Amazon account so Amazon Echo will be able to control your device. So let me pause this and actually sign in. After I authorize it, the ECO plugs has been successfully linked. 
and let me go check it out. Amazon Alexa is now looking for the device. Alexa automatically connected to my RF2KS amplifier. Hmm, I don't know that one. Okay. There it is. Perfect. Okay, let's try this. Right here is the RF2KS. Okay, the red light on the Wi-Fi indicating that it's on. And then I'm gonna click on the RF2KS. It's waiting for the echo plug. Okay, I'm going to push this button on my smartphone. I can't reach it. Here we go, try it again. Okay, very good. Turn it back on. Okay, it is working. That's fantastic. All right, this is my setup. I have the RF2KS, it's right there on my application. And all I can do now is, is I can do it manually by pushing this and turning it on and off right here. Okay, again. Okay, it works. Or I can verbally say it. Alexa, turn off RF2KS amplifier. Okay. Alexa, turn on RF2KS amplifier. Okay. There you go. All right, guys, this project took the majority of the afternoon. I had to go back to the Ace Hardware and pick up two more of those uh, plugs that goes to the side of the junction box. So I have a total of four of those plugs. With a difficulty level between one to 10, I would say that this project is about uh, a nine. It's a little difficult to do. You have to have a little bit of uh, experience with reading some schematics and dealing with electrical circuits. I did have a multimeter that I used when I shut off the power, the circuit breaker, the main power that goes to this uh, 220 volts AC. I had to make sure that there was no current. I didn't want to get shocked. Another thing is have a safety observers nearby. In, in other words, I had my mother in the next room in the same house. So if anything happened to me, I can just yell for, for help. And uh, I got it done. It's the uh, Wi-Fi smart box that controls my amplifier and I can control it remotely via the Alexa application and you can use Google Assistant as well. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. And I hope you had a great time watching my videos until the next videos, 73s, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next videos up there.